Okay, I'm back from the mall. Mm -hmm. Bought me some food, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Eat it in the mall. <laughs> Everything's good. Just wash your hands before and after your meal. <laughs> um, if you have to, wipe your cup. <laughs> um, you can even rinse it in the bathroom if you're that nervous. <laughs> Um, always remove your lid, by the way. <laughs> um, if you want to refill. <laughs> so your germs get on the straw. If you're drinking from a straw unless you're drinking from the cup, then write the brim before you get the refill. Okay, so, mm, here's the food, by the way. Mm -hmm. It is 1.44 p.m. <laughs> on the TV. Mm -hmm. 80 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> and we all gotta deal with things differently, right? I just, just take your time. Oh, mm -hmm. checking the fridge. Right. Normal things. Right. Now, mm -hmm. when the gods help you or they don't, why do you think they require faith and belief in them to do something? Mm -hmm. And who do you think is telling you you don't <laughs> have to do that <laughs> and you die slowly over 100 years? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> this is what the spirit means when it's saying to the prophet, call not evil good or good evil, but you're also saved by grace through faith, not the work seats any mention boast. Is that a contradiction? <laughs> or the gods telling you you need to understand them and your world through science and nature and that which made the planet. <laughs> the whole planet <laughs> you live on. <laughs> Fool. However it made it. <laughs> Alien technology or Technology designed to make us all. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a designer, <laughs> like the Anunnaki or whatever, as in ancient aliens, <laughs> you're made for a purpose. That purpose could be either good or evil <laughs> in and of itself, but we're all human, right? If you're trying to find a girlfriend and people are interfering with it, you don't even know who you're with <laughs> or not with. You just get paranoid about the whole thing. <laughs> either way, either way. So, again, it's 80 degrees Fahrenheit, according to um, Xfinity. It's 1.46 p.m. So, what's on TV? Pandemic, what you need to know, it's on ABC. Analyst and commentator Stephen A. Smith. Basketball fans need new ways to get their sports fix. So can you help them out, Stephen? Well, listen, there's the NFL. Days of our lives. What's this one about? Episode 126, season 55. Stefano instructs Chad to organize a family reunion. Xander warns Victor that Nicole is on to them. Kristen and Brady confront one another. And the date is 3 19 20. Besides, she admitted to me that she still has a certain. It's on from 1 to 2. So today is 3 19. Alright. <laughs> Jazz Proof of life. Proof of life. For whoever needs to know I'm still alive. <laughs> no. two, two. So on CBS is The Bold and the Beautiful. That's been out for 33 seasons. Episode 19. Well, 19, sorry. Won't be that much. <laughs> or that little. <laughs> Past history links two Los Angeles families. Braylar helps smooth the ups and downs. And that's on from 3 to 132. Caught in Providence, which is uh, 
This is last year's 10 1 18, Season 1, Episode 12. A close up view of cases directly from the courtroom of social media sensation and Providence Chief Municipal Judge Frank Caprio, who You are charged with a parking violation. Based on what you're telling me, you, you went to Amos' house to get some food to eat. Right. To get some dinner. I understand, I understand that. Thank you. I am going to dismiss the case. It's not going to cost you any money. Okay? Right, first of all, let me ask you, what are you asking me to do? I need help to remove this uh, ticket. Okay, the ticket is removed. Thank you. I need to, uh, my help for my country, for all my people. Because they are everything broken. Uh, church, mosque, school, bakery. Freedom for all people. Thank God, thank you. <laughs> we can all learn a lesson from uh, listening to Mr. Saif. We uh, read the newspaper and we watch television at night and we always think that you know well it's happening somewhere else it really doesn't affect us you know somewhere else in the world but when you are face to face with someone who is personally affected by what's going on in the world and the impact that it has on them and the commitment they have to their country because every one of us has descendants that came from another country and this morning this is a very emotional thing and it's an eye-opener sir the ticket is removed. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. God has just on us. Thank you. Okay, on CW we have so maybe Rachel Ray. I see us on Rachel today. But this is from 10, 29, 19. Reed Scott. Veep. Black and Blue. Cayenne. Douglas, Queer Eye, makes over a mother and daughter duo. Rachel prepares a chicken dish or something. So this is season 14, episode 37. But like I said, if you feel gay, I'm cool with that. As long as you can be with someone of the same age and consent. Right. If you feel straight, you feel straight. If you feel bi, even. If you think you can be with both, <laughs> that's up to you and your partners, though. You don't do it, okay, behind someone's back. <laughs> that's the point to some of the laws, too. But you're misreading them, right? Adultery to one man is different for another, right? So many moms do that. They put themselves at the bottom of the list. They don't think they're worth the time or the effort or the money. They give to everybody else and never to themselves. So, okay, so I've under fair use, and since we're still all in the world together, <laughs> okay, so you know, let's ask some questions, right? Like a reporter. So, um, so we having a queer eye guy <laughs> from the queer eye show doing a makeover of women. Which why is that? To try and show we understand, hopefully even gay people. That there are moms and sisters out there. And even though they're being gay, they still want to help people. Mm -hmm. And Rachel knows some of these people personally. And of course, they don't really cause her any situations with her life, right? So she invited this guy on the show. Mm -hmm. So... Um, so Reed Scott and Kyan, Kyan, like Ryan, <laughs> Douglas, right, and Reed Scott was already on, I guess, right, I just missed his segment, so I don't know what they talked about there, mm -hmm. and I ain't seen the full episode yet, so, again, I'm asking a question and answering it under, again, fair use too, mm -hmm. so again, right, <laughs> But I'm not going to really make it a parody because I'm just kind of quoting 
or using a brief excerpt from the show and discussing it with you, which is still under reporting. Right. That's why I did. That's what I do. All right. Now, a reporter talks about issues we all deal with, right? right. That's why I sometimes use lyrics from the song as well, like carry on our wayward son. Right. Now, I'll say the same thing to Kyan and pray for him in his gay lifestyle to meet a male who treats him right and does him right. And that's all you can do from there. And when you are dating in the gay world, you go to gay clubs. When you're dating in the straight clubs, you go to the straight clubs and sometimes the strip clubs, but that's where you go. <laughs> and sometimes the little spas. <laughs> Give him a massage <laughs> or two. <laughs> right. But you have to lose time. Right? right? Right. So, if you're in the salon, okay, right, and there's a little timer, right? 30 minutes, right? That's how long you're there. <laughs> Same with a lap dance. You lap dance with two songs or whatever you pay for. $30 a song, right? And that's to help out the moms and those that are in that lifestyle because they have bad people in their life who put them there, right? That's not their fault either. And even though Samson slept with a couple of prostitutes and Hosea married one, you still want to judge it and not love him. What makes him a prostitute is they were not shown the proper love. Right. And they had to choose that lifestyle to even make it in life. And you condemn them without knowing them. And you're not supposed to do that. And just going out there don't mean I had sex with them at all. Not even the night before. But like I said, <laughs> then someone would be driving up to my yard <laughs> in the middle of the night. <laughs> and again... <laughs> That would draw attention. And again, if I have amnesia up, you try to interfere with my memory of it. And that's the problem. That's the problem. Because <laughs> I'm having to call on God to heal me like Wolverine and Jesus, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> and if I'm here by morning, it is. <laughs> and you know what happened, but I don't. <laughs> but something about me is scaring her, and it ain't me, and it ain't you. Whether it's Megan or Maria or Rose. Which is what someone's calling themselves. <laughs> but I don't know who it is. I don't know who it is. I don't know Rose ain't Rose. Right? But see, when you set me up with a woman and I'm feeling like she's not committed, I know that too. I'm going to move on from her. I'm not going to be with her for long. <laughs> That's anybody in a relationship, right? Now, what's the commitment? You being with me, you trusting me, me trusting you. 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 And not setting you up with other people either. Especially if you have amnesia of being with someone at all. <laughs> that relationship will not work out. <laughs> but like I told you, you know why Amanda can't do that. Her mom would show up mm -hmm, every day bitching <laughs> that she was living with me. Right. But if she was ruining her relationship with her boyfriend, which I hope not, right? Like I said, um, I'm trying to tell him, and I hope she's telling him the same thing. We didn't have sex. Right. Then that's up to him to believe her and have sex with her himself or believe her and not have sex with her. And even Daphne said it never happened, right? So, like I keep telling you, only if the asshole don't believe his girlfriend and have sex with her would she even be tempted to have sex with me, or normally they done had sex with the baby it's just his. Too. Mm -hmm. But only Amanda would know, and only Amanda could say if Daphne showed up. <laughs> and I caused me amnesia too. <laughs> Though she didn't do it 20 years ago either. 
or 22 years ago. I don't know when. I don't know when. While that all that was going on, because <laughs> I couldn't get off base for that to happen. But if I ran into one of these hard asses who was having issues with his sexuality in the Navy, <laughs> we might have came to blows and words <laughs> one way or the other. <laughs> Especially if I had to jump from the window ledge to get down and was just seeing if I could do something and did something. <laughs> but it freaked them out. <laughs> and they used my disability against me. But like I said, different people feel differently even in that situation. And it depends on how many people that are involved, too. Mm -hmm. Now, my theory is I jumped from the ledge, went around and told them, and they freaked out on me. And one of them wanted to fight me because I told them I took karate and jiu-jitsu. And I kind of broke his arm a little bit. <laughs> so they called security on me. <laughs> and then somewhere in the crowd, one of them, I don't know who, <laughs> was one of the gay guys, I guess. <laughs> when I was telling the story. <laughs> The way I'm telling you the story now. Nah. Mm -hmm. Now the testimony of Jesus and God. <laughs> don't forget the spirit now. <laughs> is the beginning of prophecy for anyone. Okay.